Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games. Hey, everybody. Jay Tholen, you sexy beast, you. <laughs> so today we're playing Hypnospace Enforcer, which is another tender shoot game, a.k.a. a Jay Tholen game. You rock, Jay. Yeah, I like. I really like the games that he, he makes. Oh. oh, I love the interface. Very just the menu is just exciting. and fluid. It feels nice. Okay, yeah. press arrow keys to move cruiser and then z to act activate speed reduction beam got it Stop. got it. done you oh, have to, to click, click to continue, continue. oh it's actually across the top in the middle yes stop an outlaw hey well we, i mean we i i don't i know how to this goes well, i'll right. tell y'all all right so okay here's the outlaw we have to capture she looks pretty happy and nice oh, wait hold on cool kitty girl outlaw database case six eight nine four eight three point six user Cool kitty girl. <laughs> Name Shelby Morris. Offense or offense. Offense. Active in hypnospace for longer than eight hours. Oh. O eight C. Disrupting other users. Stalking. M three one. That's actually really Info. interesting. Economy subscription. User malnourished. Oh. User flagged under K W O four. Keywords: suicide. Kill myself. User logged 80 oh hours this week. State law limits allotted weekly time to 56 hours, 8 hours per night. Jumping from Hypnospace Police Department. <laughs> jumping to... <laughs> so that's actually really interesting because... So we don't really know what Hypnospace is. That establishes a little bit of culture. Oops. And a little bit of the world. Oops. Wow. Wow. Great start. Literally the first two cars, Chris, you hit them. Yep. You done Way good. Way to go. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha <laughs> ha! You never used the bottom lane, but I did. So yeah, that's actually kind of hmm. interesting because we don't really know what hypnospace is. Three. Um, but it seems to be some like mental state. Oh, well, it could I be just distracted. you being logged into a uh, like a no? like a virtual reality. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, VR that's... simulators usually, at least in terms of like other like anime and stuff Oops. like that, they do have requirements for how long you are allowed to. Which makes sense. I mean, there's, there'd be mental health repercussions yeah. to that. This looks but it, awesome. This looks like so much fun. It's The art is amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's all pixel fantastic. art, right? But, like, the colors the colors are really what make it work. It also runs really smooth. It is very smooth. Whoop. Damn, I'm really... Outlaw spotted, I guess. Somewhere. It means that the outlaw is just ahead. Got it. Transmission XD. Yeah! <laughs> I love the cats in the background. There we go. There we go. Gonna get you. Oh, gotcha. Use that beam to slow it down so you can catch on to it. Of course, we have a limited why, amount of the beam. Why? What is with the cat thing that I don't know. on top of your car? Maybe it's like a virus in the uh, in the hypno space. Could be anything, really. Mm. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, but before, when, at the start screen of the game, there's some audio going that's like, you know, are you tired of being depressed? Do you want to be happy? Or so, something like that. Oh, I didn't yeah. quite catch it. That sort of like. Now that we know that hypnospace is sort of like a uh, a virtual reality, it makes a lot more sense. That mm. that's like the advertisement for hypnospace. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Oops, I got distracted. I also like that the vehicles are split into three um, blocks. Yeah, yeah. It at least it, the bigger ones, like the one you're you're in right now. Actually, I like that too because it's like. If this is virtual reality, it's sort of like a, a lag thing almost. Yeah. Like it's the virtual lag in the, hmm. the in the virtual reality. Wow. You said virtual way too many times. I, I know. I'm sorry. Huh. All right. So how how are the mechanics? Do you believe? What 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 do you what do you think? The mechanics are pretty simple. Um, I mean, it's it's a two control game, right? So we go up right. and down, and we hit Z to capture the target. Um, and obviously, this is this being level one is is intentionally easier. Right. Um, I'm Which doing funny, a terrible job like at capturing. Cars. Yeah, exactly. Normally, I I expect to already be dead at this point, but I think the game's going easy on me. Well, yeah, it is level one. I mean, I think there's only can't... three levels though. Okay. Um, easy, medium, and hard. There you yeah. go. Apprehending That's the best the way to do this, actually. If if you're gonna have a small little game like this, um. Assuming, oh. of course, that you don't intend on expanding, but like Oops. for the first impressions of a game, you want that like good, better, best uh, uh, quality yes. in terms of difficulty. Yes, absolutely. 
Sorry, I didn't realize that bumping into the outlaw would actually increase the uh, <laughs> scumbag. <laughs> scumbag yeah, apprehended. You're Rating a lumberjack. lumberjack. All right, outlaw here we go. database. User Steam Rider 2420. <laughs> Name Ralph D. Roberts. Offense. Active in hypnospace for longer than eight hours. Violation of user priv privacy. Stalking. So it's like the internet. Kind of, yeah. Premium subscription. User on Health Watch 854. Heart rate high. User Ooh. logged 86 hours this week. Reported by three users for stalking. Offense is confirmed by KL5043. Man. So he's an internet creeper. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I guess the last person was also considered a stalker. But like, well, yeah, that was one of her... What are the reasons to go after her? Yeah, but this one is like only stalking and being in the system for 88 hours. Which, yeah. like, just imagine that. When virtual reality becomes a, uh, whoa, a legit thing, yeah. imagine what it, that'll be like if uh, people try to spend that much time in it. Because you know that people are going to get addicted to that stuff. Absolutely. Um, I like that the shift from level one, which is very bright, very colorful, Oops. very happy, and easier has shifted to a what looks like a sunset in the, wow sunset gonna, in the I'm background stay back a little bit um you've got a different mechanic introduced which is the crazy things coming up out of the ground mm -hmm. um in which we got to see what they do uh oh, at, at like the beginning a desert. of the level there, those are cactuses flying by yep oh interesting and a blimp oops Ooh. i think that's a oh maybe it is. wow i was looking at the sky Maybe it is a blimp. Hey, we spotted the outlaw, though. Chris, remind me never to be in the car with you. <laughs> I was looking at the sky. I was looking up at the sky. Officer, the sky was really pretty. It really? I mean, it was. Yeah. Mm, are you? Um, the, the art in this game is fantastic. Uh, I even like that your the lights on top of your car aren't... Um, they're obviously noticeable because they're changing colors from white to their their natural color, mm -hmm. but they're not so eye grabbing that you're paying more attention to that than the the fucking mechanic of the game. Yeah, it's not too distracting. Yeah, unless you point it out and then I look. Yeah, like you see how it's you see how it's kind of shifting, like it's a gradual thing. Mm -hmm. you see what I'm doing, people? I'm trying to distract him. Uh, <laughs> I, I probably <laughs> gave it away a little too early, but. Ooh. Um, I also like that behind your car, and I, well, actually, it seems to be a, continu a continuous thing with all the cars. There's that little um, flashy behind you, the, the oh, trail, yeah. yeah, showing that you're going, you're super ma fast. Yeah, you're going super fast. It's virtual. Gotta things. go fast. Gotta go fast. Um, no, this is cool. Yeah, I, like I, I mean, I think the art and the the music are really like the main selling points of yeah, the game. Actually, I didn't... The, the the music shift for this level is a lot... Less happy. I mean, yeah. it's not, like, sad, but it's, it's like... It's not supposed to be happy, but it's it's a lot less... Uh, it's a lot slower paced than I was uh, anticipating. Whoop, I went uh, past okay. him. Okay. I wouldn't oh, say there past we go. him. Through him. <laughs> yeah. Welcome we to go. Steam Rider's Domain. There we there go. You go. Yes. Wow, nicely done. Yes. I also really like this this animation. It's like a PS1, yeah. like, um, there was a game, it was like a demo disc game that had that sort of art attached to it. The the really cool thing about it, too, is that it, it breaks from the art conventions from, like, the actual gameplay, so, like, yeah. it makes sense, and yet it still is kind of weird at the same time. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's fun. Oh, see, this is another interesting little point about this little um, internet world, is that you select an avatar. Oh, oh, okay. Here's here's an interesting oh. offense <clears throat> too. Outlaw database. User Mavis White sixty eight. Name Mavis White. Offense. Propagation of malicious software. New user. Thirty day trial subscription. User infected with malicious software. Warning. WN zero five. Proceed with caution. Abnormalities in citizen pattern detected. So this oh. is this is actually my this favorite part of the game. A different mechanic. And it's already Whoa. like all glitched up. That's yeah. pretty cool. It's awesome. So, oh, up until so this nobody's... point, well, up until this point, I, uh, I was like, why, why did it have us use the cursor in the beginning? That makes no sense. Like that's just straight up bad design, especially since it's a keyboard game. 
This. Oh, man. Uh, oh, man. That is Woo. awesome. Yep. So That's super cool. Jay Tholen was clever in that he made sure to include that there's some control early on in the game that utilizes the cursor. So you have to have a mouse before you jump into the game. That's awesome. And so now we, it, like, it's, I guess it's supposed to catch us off guard, and it definitely does. Yeah. And um, it becomes a race to quickly close the pop-ups. Exactly. It is stressful beyond belief. That's, that's super cool. Well done, Jay. <laughs> Seriously. It's it's a great way to trick the player in a way that's actually kind of fun, too. Yeah. Um, I think if it were like, I don't know, like a AAA game, right? I think I'd be pissed off at it and be like, that's not cool. But this is like, this fun because it actually like... It, it's an immersive it's playing thing. Against, yeah, it's playing a, um, off of like expectations of, of uh, player behavior. <laughs> Hello, how do I search the online browser? What are you doing? Stop. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, 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 oh this. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm gonna no. get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna. I got. Oh, oh, oh I got you. Oh, mm, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. What? Did it oh, destroy the hypno space? I'm. I'm still gone. I'm still gone. Oh still man, gone. this is this. insane. Oh, this is god, super oh god, crazy. Oh god, oh god. I'm still going. That's I'm still awesome. Going. I'm still going. Jay, this is fantastic. <laughs> This no, is so no, clever. No, 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 no. I'm too young. I, I love this. I love it. Isn't this awesome? This is so cool. You also notice there's some crazy imagery going on in the background. Yeah. Woo. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Just it, random pictures of it, girls uh, and skeletons and stuff. Yeah, it really kind of messes with you, right? Yeah. This is super cool. I love this. They live. What? Oh. Is it a reference to that Rowdy Rowdy Piper movie? I have no they idea. Live like you live, they fail. Like you fail. Yeah. Yep. So you've you've made it. I mean, this is just the the finale, I guess. Yep. Yep. This this cool. is the whole game. Um, and this is it's interesting too because Jay Tholen recently posted on his itch.io that uh he's making a uh, hypnospace. Outlaw. So oh, this is yeah. Hypnospace Enforcer. So I'm really curious to see what that's like and to see if it kind of plays off of uh, either how this game concludes or just like, are, you, are we going to play as the Outlaw instead? Like, So real quick, I think this is this right here is a commentary similar to kind of how Dropsy had that, that message that it wanted to send throughout the entire game. I think this is a commentary on internet personalities or internet people who comment and treat other people like crap. I think this is the message to those people saying, like, like you are hurting people. This isn't some random face that you see online. Mm. This is a person that you are interacting with and making them feel like an idiot. Like, I think everything here... I feel like that's what he was trying to send right there, and I think yeah. that is awesome. Yeah, I... No, actually, I do agree. I, it's, it's kind of cool to see that, too, because I think Jay Tholen does a good job at kind of... Um, he, he seems to kind of follow certain themes with his games. Yes. And, like, this doesn't feel good like Dropsy was, even though Dropsy was still kind of depressing. Um, yeah. But this, it's... this is, like, brain melty and kind of depressing at the same time, but it's like, I feel you, bud. I, I, I don't know that it's you. necessarily depressing. I think it's... I think the Hypnospace Enforcer is the is the uh, internet security guy looking right. at finding the people who are just causing problems for other people online. Maybe I, I say it's depressing because it's so relatable and yeah. we can see it and it's like, man, sometimes it does suck. Yeah. Jay, we, were, we played this for 13 minutes and you've already taught us something in this three-level game. Hell yeah. That's no, this fantastic. Is, this, this, is, this is a great... 15 minute game. Yeah, this is fantastic. Jay, damn, man. <laughs> Seriously, I'm continually impressed. I was like, because like before you, you turn this on, I was like, oh cool, Jay Tholen. And it's not going to be dropsy in my mind. And then it's a fucking 13 minute game. Seriously. <laughs> I'm, um, damn. So, okay, question of the day. Uh, I guess, what... This is a tough one, actually. Question of the day. Um... I guess, in terms of designing a game that is meant to deliver a message, I think there's a, a huge question of how do you know how long to make your game in order to deliver that message? 
And obviously, I think Jay Tholen did a great job at delivering this message with a very short amount of time. Um, but I guess designers out there, what do you think? How is it based on like the scale of the message, or do you think that the duration of the game doesn't really matter, just so long as the presentation um, mm. tells you that? I agree. Sort of a, a complex question. But anyway. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll probably check out Hypnospace Outlaw when it comes out because I, yeah, I'm, my curiosity I'm is peaked. I'm hard for that. That sounds cool. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Uh, also, feel free to click some of these annotations to see what games you would like to see yeah. us play in the future. Anyway, have a good one, guys.